हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स लीस्ट कॉमन मल्टीपल बट लेट मी फर्स्ट डिस्कस विद यू अ सिचुएशन वेर देर आर टू बेल्स फर्स्ट बेल रिंग्स एट एवरी फोर मिनट्स एंड सेकेंड बेल रिंग्स एवरी सिक्स मिनट्स सो हियर माई क्वेश्चन इज एट वॉट टाइम दे बोथ विल रिंग टूगेदर सो इफ आई स्टार्ट विद जीरो आई कैन से फर्स्ट बेल विल रिंग फर्स्ट एट फोर्थ मिनिट देन ऑन एट्थ मिनिट then 12th minute and so on that is at the interval of 4 minute and second bell rings every 6 minutes means the second bell will ring first at 6 minute then 12th minute and then 18th minute and so on so by this diagram we can see that bell 1 and bell 2 they both are meeting at 12th minute means they both will ring first at 12th minute then 24th minute and so on so in mathematical term here 4 8 12 16 they are all called as the multiples of number 4 similarly 6 12 18 24 they are all called as the multiples of number 6 and the time where they both will ring together are called as common multiples now first time they both will ring together at 12th minute and from starting point it will be third round for the bell 1 and second round for the bell 2 So here twelve is called as the least common multiple of four and six. That is twelve is the first number which is a multiple of both four and six. So this was one of the way of finding least common multiple, and this method work well for small numbers. But they are more difficult in case of bigger numbers like one forty four and ninety eight because instead of four and six. If I say bell one rings at every one forty four minutes and bell two rings at every ninety eight minutes, then it will be difficult to pictureize the situation. So another way of finding least common multiple is by factorization. So let's first factorize one forty four and ninety eight by factorization method. So after factorization, we can write one forty four as four times two into three into three. Which is again equal to two raised to four into three raised to two, and also we can write ninety eight as two into seven into seven, that is equal to two raised to one into seven raised to two. So this method says that to find least common multiple, we take the product of common and uncommon numbers with the greatest power. So for time being, if we ignore the powers of the numbers, we can see. The only common number is two, which is both in one forty four and ninety eight. So we take two ones into, and the uncommon numbers are three and seven. So two into three into seven. Also, we have to take the greatest power of two, three and seven. So as we can see here, two has power one, and two also has power four. This means that the greatest power of two is four. Therefore, we take two raised to four into three has greatest power two. It is three raised to two and seven raised to two. Therefore, the least common multiple of one forty four and ninety eight will be equal to seven thousand fifty six. And note that by factorization, we can also find highest common factor or HCF, and we also call HCF as GCD. highest common factor or greatest common divisor of two numbers is the greatest number that divides the two numbers so just recall in case of the numbers 4 and 8 we know that 4 has three divisors 1 2 and 4 this means 4 can be divided by 1 2 and 4 similarly 8 has four divisors 1 2 4 and 8 and out of these divisors we can see 1 2 and 4 are the common divisors of both 4 and 8 and out of these common divisors since 4 is the greatest number which divides both 4 and 8 so we call 4 as the greatest common divisor or the highest common factor of 4 and 8 so let's see how can we find the highest common factor of the numbers 144 and 98 by factorization method So note that in finding least common multiple, we had taken the product of common and uncommon factor both with the greatest power. But in case of finding the highest common factor, here we take the product of only common number, and that too with the least power. 
सो ये टू इज दी ओनली कॉमन नंबर फ्रॉम द फैक्टर्स ऑफ वन फोर्टी फोर एंड नाइन्टी एट एंड ऑल्सो द लीस्ट पावर ऑफ टू इज वन सो द हाइएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर ऑफ वन फोर्टी फोर एंड नाइन्टी एट इज इक्वल टू टू दिस मीन्स दैट टू इज द ग्रेटेस्ट नंबर दैट डिवाइड्स वन फोर्टी फोर एंड नाइन्टी एट बोथ कम्प्लीटली सो लेट मी टेल यू वन मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्ट दैट इज वेन एवर वी फैक्टराइज एनी नंबर वी ऑलवेज गेट फैक्टर्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्राइम नंबर्स एज वी कैन सी हेयर वी हैव फैक्टराइज वन फोर्टी फोर एंड नाइन्टी एट एंड वी हैव गॉट द फैक्टर्स एज प्राइम नंबर्स बिकॉज टू थ्री सेवन दे आर ऑल प्राइम नंबर्स सो दिस मैथड इज कॉल्ड एज प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन मैथड विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज फंडामेंटल थियोरम ऑफ एरेथमेटिक so here we had two numbers that is 144 and 98 and we have also found out the highest common factor of 144 and 98 as 2 and the least common multiple as 7056 so here if i take the product of 144 and 98 i will get answer as 14112 similarly if i take the product of their highest common factor and the least common multiple I will get the same answer that is fourteen thousand one one two. So here we can conclude that the product of the two given numbers is same as the product of their highest common factor and the least common multiple. And this will be true for any two positive integers. That is, in general, if a and b are any two positive integers, then the product of a and b will be equal to the product of their highest common factor and the least common multiple. So now we know to find the highest common factor and the least common multiple and we also know this relation. So there might be various types of questions. For example, sometimes we have given the two numbers and we have asked to find out the highest common factor and the least common multiple. And we have also asked to verify this relation. And sometimes we have given the two numbers and also the highest common factor of that number. And suppose we are asked to find out the least common multiple. So let's say if the first number is given as 15 and the second number is given as 9 and the highest common factor of 15 and 9 is given as 3 so we have to find the least common multiple here so let's simplify this so this relation says that product of two numbers that is 15 into 9 is same as the product of their highest common factor and the least common multiple that is 3 into the least common multiple of 15 and 9 so let's simplify this So least common multiple of 15 and 9 is equal to 45. Now just concentrate here. When we had two numbers that is 144 and 98, the least common multiple of 144 and 98 was equal to 7056, and their highest common factor was equal to 2. Now we had two numbers that is 15 and 9. and just now we have found out the least common multiple to be equal to 45 and the highest common factor is 3 so note that the least common multiple of any two given numbers will always be greater than their highest common factor so don't get confused with the name because least common multiple doesn't mean that the result should be the least number or the highest common factor doesn't mean that the result should be the highest or greatest number In fact least common multiple means the least of all the common multiples and the highest common factor means the highest or the greatest of all the common divisors so basically it depends on multiples and factors and we also know that multiples means the result of multiplication of two numbers and factor or divisor is a single number So this means that multiple will always be bigger than the factor or divisor and hence the least common multiple of two numbers will always be bigger than their highest common factor So that's all for now let's go back and check what all we have learned in this session